Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will show you a tip and trick related to uh, finding the missing values in Python and as you can see this is coming from my book which is ultimate handbook for finding missing values in Python where I have shared 25 different recipes related to finding missing values based on the common day-to-day -day problems that we all have come across uh, while dealing with the missing data. And today from this book, what I'm showing you is how you can find those rows across the columns which are having missing values. Because many times, you know, what we are looking for is just those rows and let's say we want to preserve those rows. Because dropping the rows is one way of dealing it, but you sometimes we don't want to just drop and lose the rows. We want to first preserve those rows and th then drop it so that later if required, we can either show it to uh, to those who needs to validate the data or who need to inspect the data. So from that perspective, how you can find the rows which is having null values across different columns. All right. So for this, what I'll do is first import the pandas and import this data set and I'll create one cell for myself. All right, so my data set is sales. So what I will use is sales dot is null to check if wherever in my data set I am having the null value. And then I will use this any function uh, to find wherever anywhere it is having the null value to report that. And down there I will just mention one to get those rows. All right, and let me execute it. So once I execute it, you will see with the index ID or with the row ID that wherever it has missing values. So the missing values is present only in this column, product base margin. And if you see, wherever you will go, you will find the missing values over here. And that way you get 63 rows from this data set that is having the missing values. Now you can have uh, object like this missing underscore sales and that way you can preserve the missing values in this missing sales uh, object and then you can do a treatment right so that you can save or you can uh, make sure you preserve the original data into some object which later can be validated can be shown or can can be inspected by anyone just so that if if an audit is going or you want to go through what what originally was present you can get it very easily so that's the code snippet i wanted to show you very very handy that uh, we want to keep it uh, whenever we are dealing with missing values and like this you can get 25 different uh, you know recipes like this to to manage your missing values within your python data set so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video